guys again welcome back to Android tutorial so the next step you have to do is to create an actual listener for the button a button is already placed on the main.xml file so the next step you have to do you can you have to do is to create an actual listener for the button so go to the main activity Java file uh, here I am going to create an object of the object for the button button bn okay bn is equal to find view by id r dot id dot notify notify is the id of the button on the xml file so i have to cast the object here okay uh, so the next step is to do is to create an on-click listener for the button bn dot set on-click listener say new view dot on-click listener I have to import some packages here also a semicolon is a semicolon is must here okay now I have to when the user click the button a notification will appear so I just call a method from here display notification okay now I have to define declare this method called the display notification so I just declare here declare it here public void display notification there is no arguments for that method okay I just create the method called the display notification so the remaining code are writing in this method the remaining code for uh, make the notification display is you have to create the code here so the first step is to create an object of notification manager so I have to create an object of uh, notification manager here before that I have to create an indent filter object for invoking the uh, second activity that we are already created for displaying the details of notification so I just create an indent object indent i is equal to new indent Uh, I just create a indent of indent filter ID is here display uh, notify filter so I have to specify this indent object filter on the manifest file in this project so I just open up the manifest file I just copy this activity also I have to create a new activity here here is the class name dot the class name is view notification so view notification so the next step I have to define the indent filter here so the indent filter is that is we are already created same as this indent notify filter okay I just change the label details of notification okay so the next step I have to do I already said that it is uh, we are not going to call the activity using start activity because it is a pending indent object we need to specify the notification as a pending indent so uh, I have to create and I have to get the pending indent object here uh, before that uh, in order to closing the display 
I have to create some integer value here and uh, I just create an integer variable notification ID Uh, now I just initialize the variable notification ID is equal to 1 I just initialize the variable notification ID okay now I have to attach this notification ID integer variable to this indent object I dot put extra okay here I have to specify a key here notification ID the value is notification ID okay next I have to create an object of pending in then I have to get an object of pending in then object so I just create an object of pending in that object here I just specify it as PI is equal to pending in then dot get activity here just pass contact stars this here the request I just specify the uh, request code as zero and intent here the intent object is I uh, also a flag argument is here I also specify it as zero okay now I got this uh, pending indent object using this method called uh, get activity okay guys uh, that's enough for this section uh, go to the next part of this tutorial for further learning